Welcome to the Learning Lab class, Find Your Next Read with Novelist. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the Adult and Teen Services Librarians at the Arcadia Public Library. We're going to be taking a look at the resource Novelist and its basic navigation and how to browse. So let's get started. I'm here on the Novelist homepage, which I can access from the Arcadia Public Library's list of e-resources, which is available at www.arcadiaca.gov forward slash e-resources. If you're accessing this resource from home, you'll need to enter your library card barcode for access. Your library card barcode is all the letters and numbers on the back of your library card, starting with PARC 000. So this is the homepage of Novelist. You can always get back to this homepage by clicking on the home button or by clicking on the icon of the Novelist Plus image in the upper left-hand corner. From the homepage, there are several browsable lists on the left-hand side based on genre and a few other topics that are broken down into fiction and nonfiction, as well as age groups of adult, teen, ages 9 through 12, and ages 0 through 8. So these are the lists right over here on the left-hand side. We have fiction, and then the ages, and then there are nonfiction, and then the ages. And when you click on a different age group, the list will change. So you can navigate to a list that seems intriguing to you and browse the items on that list. Sometimes within different genres, you will have subgenres that help you find more specific items that you're able to browse. I'm gonna click on one to show you what that looks like. We're gonna be talking about searching and understanding search results in other videos in this class. So I'm here in fiction and I selected adult and I'm gonna take a look at the mysteries one. And you'll notice that there are all these different subgenres within the mysteries category. So I'm gonna click on fatally funny and it'll take me to the list of that subgenre within the genre. Now I'm going to head back to that home button on the upper left side to get back to the home page, and we're going to take a look at a few more buttons on this page. The next way to browse is the browse by button in the upper left hand corner. This option allows you to browse for titles based on genre. And if I click on that, it's going to give me basically those lists that we saw on the left hand side. If I go back up here, we can also search by appeal. And these appeals are appeal factors that are basically terms that novelist uses to describe items based on story elements that can help you decide if a book fits your style or mood. So they have appeal terms for things like character, illustration, pace, storyline, tone, and writing style. So you can build a combination of appeal terms that the system provides and this is helpful in case you're having trouble putting your finger on a way to describe something. Getting prompted is often a lot easier. So for example, if I choose character, it gives me a bunch of character options. If I choose illustration, it gives me some illustration options, etc. So all of these will have ones that are filled in with additional terms that prompts you um, for descriptions of the items that you are looking for. Next in the upper left corner in the strap down menu are themes. These are often genres, but not always. You can also go back up top and you can also browse by award winners. These are lists that have been created for a whole bunch of awards and they're separated by age group. So if you were to select an award, it will give you results of the items that have won for that year and if there's the nominations list. And finally, you can browse by audiobook. Now, if you're someone who listens to audiobooks a lot, you'll know that a narrator can really make or break a story. So Novelist also includes information about the narrator for all of its audiobook records, which is super nice because it's nice to be able to search in case you have a favorite narrator. The next button up top that says especially for has resources for readers advisory and working with youth which are resources for teachers and librarians to use within this resource, but feel free to poke around. 
The next button is the quick links. Again, this has some information for teachers and librarians, but it does have some sections of general interest, such as the book club resources and books to movies, which I would check out if those are of interest to you. So for example, book club resources has um, book discussion guides and they have articles about books. And then the books to movies is a list of movies that are going to be coming out that are based on books within a certain time period. They update this periodically, usually by year, and then they do also have an archive. Just a few more elements before we wrap this up. On the top, there's also this how do I button, which has prompts for different help sections. And then also there is this help button over here on the right hand side. If you get stuck using the resource or you need more information about how to perform a task or what something is, both of these are great places to check. So in this video, we talked about Novelist's basic navigation and how to browse. In our next video, we're going to be going over how to search in Novelist. Feel free to reach out to library staff if you have any additional questions.